Hey guys, it's Astro Cat here with a fir very first KSP video. We're using KSP version 1.6.1, and this is part one of my series. We're just gonna be making things in this series because I've already done a bunch of stuff in the same. Here, we here, anyway, here we have the Cos or the Kerbal Orbital Science Station. It's pretty big. Um, which is why I created this massive launcher for it, and I didn't want to bother with the docking stuff in the space part, because I'm bad at docking. Very much bad at docking. Anyway, um, on board this massive station, we've got a, we've got a bunch of body parts here. Um, we've got a dual technique, we've got a magnometer, we've got survey material, we've got survey scanners, we've got material, narrowband scanners, we've got massive relay dishes, Plenty of science equipment here. We've got a very advanced science lab. We've got a hydroponics garden here, but really it's just reactors. It's just reaction wheels, but it's the only thing I can find that's actually not to be green in the game. Other than my bonded parts. And, and then we've got massive solar arrays for um, power, and we've got this big fuel tank here for, uh, for fuel, obviously, and we've got docking ports for other ships that want to dock to this and refuel before going on air summer missions. And now we've got the launcher itself. We've got, we're using space Y parts for the launcher because there's nothing in the stock game that's actually big enough to launch this entire station in one piece. So we've got this section which, which contains a it's a multi MOA engine. Show that real quick. It's a multi MOA engine there. And then the lower stage, which consists of a super rat um, super ratite engine block. And then we've got super heavy lift SRBs and fins. OBT fins. Orbit orbit portal technology. Um I will not be providing a link for these mods in the description, but if you have CCAM, which is a mod manager for Kerbal Space Program. You can find these pretty much anywhere. Well, you can just search them on there and you'll be able to install them immediately and get playing with them. Anyway, we gotta crew this vessel, so let's find some good Kerbals here. No, no. Yeah, you guys can stay. You guys are good. Um, let's see what happens with crew capacity. Alright, so we've got a science lab, a hitchhiker storage, and Coppola. So we're gonna put Traoli, our commander in the Coppola unit. We're gonna put our two scientists in the lab and our fourth auxiliary scientist in the hitchhiker storage container. Honestly, I think I should replace this guy with an engineer because I do not like my bro- uh, I do not like my solar panels broken. Um, just get this guy. Jerry. <laughs> That's Jar- I don't know how to pronounce these names sometimes. Anyway, let's get on with the launch. So I'm hoping we can put this into low carbon orbit. Well, actually, we gotta put it into low carbon orbit on a polar trajectory because it's got a survey scanner on it, and the this needs to be polar in order to actually work properly. You know, I see. I think I'm seeing an issue with my problem here. So I do not know which direction I see pitching. You know. D is that way, S is this way, but we gotta go south? This is confusing. You know, honestly, I should just re reposition my carbon relay. Um, I think we're gonna go with the polar orbit, so we gotta go S, Wait, W. So we head north. Yeah, so we just need to hold down W while we launch. Alright, I'm gonna throttle up. Oop, staging error. Don't, those things can be really annoying when you, when it happens in the middle of a launch. Alright, we're gonna F5 before launching, because you don't know this thing is gonna blow up. And let's do this. Alright, so your standard gravity turn, what you do is you go for 10, th once you reach 10,000 meters, you gotta be at least angle of 45 degrees. I really do like these, the, these space one parts. They are extremely powerful, and I like them quite a lot. 
see that rotation down. And these rock SRBs. Oh, we're passing some. Ooh, we're not angled right. A little bit high. Oh no. Okay, so those super rat eyes drains faster than I thought they would. Hopefully, we have enough to still get into space. If we don't, back to the drawing board. That is not circular. <laughs> okay. This might not go as planned. This might not. I did not plan to have enough delta V and this orbit is terribly non-circular. Periops just above the atmosphere, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, that burn time's ridiculous. One minute and 20 minutes. Ago. Okay, we gotta start burning now. Did I ever make it? <sighs> this war is the most bad I did. I'm sure hope this is enough, though. We have enough food. Circularized without you know, dying. Oh, we might actually go through like 90% of our feet. Oh, I Yeah, maybe I should have built more fuel for this stage and also extended the rat super ratite a bit more. Because we might not have enough to get into this. Okay, we're gonna have That's much more circularized. That's pretty good. There we go. We can circularize. Hopefully we can do it. Alright, we're almost there. So we're gonna bury abscess now. Stable orbit. Alright, we made it. We're alive. We've got plenty of fuel remaining. Now we're on a polar orbit, which is also nice. Let's ignore um, Kessler's info for a little bit here. Um, okay, now to stage. Stations in orbit. Got a lot of solar panels on this space station. What? Wait, sixty kilometer wait, sixty kilometers and one thousand foot well oh, hang on, what?
We are. Hang on. Stable core orbit between 60 km. How high are we? Yeah, we're within those parameters. Why can't we perform a survey? What? Okay, we are. Why is this not working? Scanners. Okay, we've got a problem here. Sixty KM and one thousand five hundred KM. 